Welcome to another video walk around. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 2019 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport in the Silver Sky metallic color. This four wheel drive, four door, five passenger, double cab pickup truck comes equipped with a 3.5 liter six cylinder engine mounted to an automatic transmission. As an added bonus, this vehicle has only had one previous owner, has no accidents reported, and is a Toyota certified used vehicle. So mechanically and aesthetically, it is in pristine condition inside and out. Starting up front with some of the notable exterior features, you've got that gorgeous bold grill. That's the TRD Sport grill. And then of course up top here, you'll also find the hood scoop for added style. If you take a look at the headlamps here, you'll find that great looking projector beam bulb as well as the LED daytime running lights along the side there. And below that, you'll also find the fog lamps for some additional style and utility. As you come around to the side of the vehicle, you'll notice the 17 inch alloy rims that the vehicle currently rides on. And those are wrapped in the Toyo Open Country tires with tons and tons of tread. Those tires are absolutely ready to tackle any and all terrain. As we continue down the truck here, you'll find the nice Tacoma badging at the bottom of the driver's side door. And up top here, you've got the LED turn signal indicator integrated right into the mirror. We back up and take a look at the side profile. You've got that great looking sleek profile. And in back here, you'll find tinted windows for some additional privacy for the rear passengers or rear cargo. And that tint continues in the back window as well. Up top, you've got that nice black roof fin antenna. And as we head towards the back of the box here, you'll find that nice TRD 4x4 sport badging. Take a look at the tailgate here. You've got that nice Tacoma lettering embedded right into it. You also got the V6 badging over on the other side. And then you've got your nice soft open tailgate here that'll drop open nice and slowly for you and as you can see you've got tons and tons of room for cargo you've also got the bed rails back here as well as the tie down cleats you've also got an ac outlet and lots and lots of room if you take a look underneath here of course this truck does come equipped with a hitch so it's ready to tow and as you can see you've also got the spare tire underneath in case you ever get a flat this is as like new as it gets when it comes to Tacomas, and this vehicle will not last long. So let's go ahead and hop inside and get started with the interior features. Hopping inside, this gorgeous pickup truck is nice and easy thanks to the proximity smart key system. But of course, you do have the standard remote keyless entry options on the key fob as well. But all you have to do is walk up the key on your person and put your hand in the door handle to unlock the vehicle. And when you hop out, you've got those two lines there to easily lock the vehicle. Inside, you're greeted with the very stylish gray fabric seating here. You've got that nice design in the center of the seat as well as the accent stitching along the bolster and the bottom of the seat here. At the bottom, you'll also find your manual seat adjustments, which includes your manually adjusted lumbar support, which is a nice added bonus. You've also got the Tacoma nameplate on the door sill there, as well as the Tacoma branded all-weather mats, and those are nice and easy to clean regardless of how dirty or wet they get. So let's go ahead and hop inside, fire up this Tacoma, and get started with all the bells and whistles. The features inside this Tacoma start with the push button ignition. Simply put your foot on the brake and push the button to start the truck as long as the key is inside. If you take a look over the driver's side door panel, you'll find the controls for the power windows, locks, and mirrors. And as an added bonus, both of your front windows are automatic. Underneath, you do have a couple of extra cup holders as well as a speaker integrated into the door panel. And just to the right, you'll find a nice little storage slot up top. Below that, you've got the control for your bed light as well as the button to toggle your AC outlets and your automatic high beams. If you take a look under the steering column here, you do have the manual adjustment for your tilt and telescoping steering wheel, so you can easily get it in the perfect position. And if you take a look just behind the wheel at the turn signal stock, you notice that this vehicle does come equipped with automatic headlights, which is a great set it and forget it feature. And of course, you've also got the switch for the fog lights that I showed you on the exterior. If we back up and take a look at the steering wheel here, you've got a very stylish and sporty four-spoke steering wheel, as well as some bolsters up top for a nice ergonomic design. And you've also got these nice graphite gray spokes here. Over on the left hand side, you'll find your steering wheel mounted audio controls, which includes your volume rocker and track selector buttons. You've also got the voice recognition button, and below that, you'll find the audio mode button. You can also hold that to mute the system. And at the bottom here, you've got the two Bluetooth hands free calling buttons. Over on the right hand side, you'll find the buttons to navigate the screen in the center of the gauge cluster, so we'll go and take a look up there in just a moment. Below that, you'll find the button for your radar guided cruise control follow distance. You've got three to choose from. I'll show you a little bit more about that in just a moment. And you've also got the button for your lane departure alert. If you take a look behind the wheel here, of course, you'll also find your cruise control stock, which is great for those highway drives. If we go ahead and take a look up in the gauge cluster there, you've got that screen that I mentioned. All the way up at the top, you've got the exterior temperature, as well as a nice little silhouette of some mountains with that nice blue background. 
the bottom you've got the gear that the truck is in as well as the odometer and you can see that this truck currently has 54,730 kilometers on it. In this very first information screen here you've got your digital speedometer as well as your range. You'll also find your average and current fuel consumption. You've also got your trip distance and time as well as your sway warning so this will let you know if it might be time to take a rest if you're swaying between the lanes. And finally if you just want to take a look at that nice rugged cracked concrete screen you can do so by scrolling to the bottom. The next screen over is a compass so you can quickly check which direction you're traveling. You've also got your audio system so you can check what's playing and adjust it without ever having to take your hands off the wheel or even glance your infotainment system while you're driving. Next you've got the tire pressure screen so you can quickly check your tire pressure and this is also the screen for your cruise control system, the adaptive cruise control with that three follow distances like I mentioned and you've also got the lane departure alert. As you can see both of those features will give you an indicator in this screen. Next you've got any messages or warnings that the vehicle has to display and finally you've got the settings for your safety features which includes your pre-collision system and your lane departure alert. You've also got some additional meter settings in here which includes your language, units, drive info screens and more. You can also reset that at the bottom with the default settings button. If you take a look towards the center of the dash here you've got a couple of climate vents on either side and then you've got your embedded touchscreen infotainment system that includes navigation which is a very nice feature. In terms of your other apps here, you've got your audio system, which includes your AM, FM radio, as well as a CD player, USB and auxiliary inputs, XM radio, and Bluetooth audio, so you can be sure that you can listen to your own audio regardless of the type of device that you have. Speaking of your device, if it is hooked up, you can access the phone and messages screens there. You've also got the eco screen at the bottom here, which gives you your trip information as well as your fuel economy history. You've also got the setup screen with lots and lots of options to go through and customize to your preferences. And finally, you can set yourself maintenance reminders, which is a really handy feature to ensure you never miss any important maintenance, and you can keep your Tacoma in pristine condition. If you put the truck into reverse, you'll also see the backup camera pop right up, and putting the truck back in a park will bring back the main screen. Below that, you'll find the hazard lights as well as the three-stage heated seats for both front passengers. You've also got the passenger airbag warning over on the other side. And below that, you'll find the drive mode selector, so you can easily switch between two-wheel and four-wheel high, four-wheel low. Then you've got your climate controls, and this is a dual-zone climate control vehicle, so you can adjust the temperature independently for the driver and the passenger. It's an added bonus that's also automatic, so you can hit the auto button and let the vehicle adjust the fan speed, heat, and placement to get it to your desired temperature. For those hot summer days, you do have air conditioning, and for the cold winter days, you do have heated mirrors, both of which are very nice features to have in the Okanagan. Below that, you'll find the switch for your power sliding rear window, which is a very nice feature. You can let in lots of airflow. You've also got the USB and auxiliary input that I mentioned, as well as a 12 volt outlet to keep the devices charged up. Below that, you'll find a nice little storage compartment, as well as a couple of cup holders. Then you've got your shifter here, and you can put that into a standard mode if you're looking to manually shift between the gears. You've also got your e-brake here, as well as a cup holder. Then you've got your nice padded armrest here, and that opens up to reveal your center console. And inside there, you've also got a couple of extra USB ports to keep the devices charged up. In the passenger side of the well, you've got the same great all-weather mats. And just above here, you've got your glove box with the Tacoma lettering embedded right into the plastic. If we open it up, you'll find lots of room inside, as well as, of course, your owner's manual. Over on the passenger side door panel, you've got the same great design that we found on the driver's side, as well as, of course, the controls for the power locks and the passenger side window. Taking a look up top, you'll find the three programmable garage door buttons, so you can easily access your garage without having to dig out your key fob. And you'll also notice this is an auto-dimming rear mirror, so that'll keep your mirror nice and dim automatically without you having to flip it down at nighttime. Up top here, you've got a nice little sunglasses holder, as well as a couple of interior lights, and the button for your traction control. So that concludes the features up front. Let's go ahead and hop in back and take a look at some of the features in the rear of this truck. In the rear of this Tacoma, you've got more of that same great fabric seating that extends across the rear bench seat. Back here, you'll also find the same great all-weather mats as well as a handy storage pocket in the back of the passenger side seat and a couple of cup holders in the back of the center console for your rear passengers. These rear seats are also configurable in a 60-40 split. And what I mean by that is you can pull the bench forward with the tab underneath to reveal some additional storage. And you can also pop the seat back forward to reveal an additional storage compartment behind the seat as well. So you've got tons and tons of interior storage options. And again, the same is true on the other side, just in a larger split. If you take a look over at the 
Rear door panel here, you've got the same great design that we found on the front, as well as, of course, the switch for the rear windows, a little bit of storage, and a couple of cup holders underneath. That concludes this short video walk around, but Tacomas are in very high demand and we just can't seem to keep them on our lot. So make sure you stop by Kelowna Toyota, located at 1200 Leith Head Road, or visit us online at kelownatoyota.com for more information. We look forward to seeing you soon.